you fellas really need to do something better with your lives. The fact that you still think evil will prevail is getting pathetic at this point. No need to be so virtuous when we haven't even pulled out our winning card yet. My element! It's not working! The Overlord. No, we can't let him get through. Kinda hard to do that when we can't even move. It's great that you all took care of the ninja, but we'll handle it from here. I admire the confidence, but surely you'll continue to want our help. Leave us, and let them rot here so they can see the rise of the Crystal King as their last sight to behold. If that's what you demand, then we won't bother to argue! But I was looking forward to making them suffer! Vanessa! Do you remember that name? The girl that died when you returned after being lost in time? Well, I hope it hasn't completely slipped your memory. That must be the Crystal King, or what's currently left of him. He doesn't look too bad for someone that died thousands of years ago. Let's get him out of here, then hopefully we can figure out how to end this conflict between us. Oh no, not him again. I thought I finally got rid of him after accidentally resurrecting him. Another conflict spawned from a desperate mistake is the last thing we need right now. He won't be much of an issue for much longer. My power isn't working either. They must be made of vent stone. <laughs> I have been longing for something more sustainable. It won't be sustainable when we finish you. Unfortunately, there will be no chance of that happening. This realm will be reborn, and I will lead into the new age alongside those that follow. However, I cannot say the same about you. It doesn't matter if it's you or Carvon that plans to be in control. In the end, Ninja never quit. Then, let the age of the Ninja meet its end. Nothing is working against him. He's extremely hard to kill in this form. 
do you really believe a mortal such as yourself can achieve such victory? Lloyd has done it before, same with Zane, and I was the one who destroyed you last. Fool! I am the living embodiment of darkness! As long as there is light, my existence is inevitable! If it's light you want, then we'd be happy to give it to you. Now it's time for that shell of yours to shatter. That will be impossible once I move into my next vessel. My ascension will not be challenged as long as I continue to gain the upper hand. Didn't anyone teach him the bigger they are, the harder they fall? Nothing you do will stop what is to come. Skylar, run! Are you sure about that? <laughs> Thanks for the help, Nia. That won't be enough to stop him completely. He will rise again. Everyone get to your vehicles before it's too late. <laughs> oh no. Time has come, and soon enough, the rest of Ninjago will follow! What happened? Were you successful? And where's Nia? The Overlord has become the Crystal King, and was too unstoppable for us. As for my sister, she stayed behind so we could escape. I'm worried that her position might be discovered eventually. It's only a matter of time until the League of Change is going to send some of their members to capture Nelson. Which means they can use his knowledge of the Crystal Labyrinth for the Ravager Crystal. And if they get their hands on that crystal, our realm is one step closer to destruction. And one more step for it to be recreated in the image of evil. We should get Nelson as far away from here as possible, just in case they end up discovering our location. Once we know he's safe, we can regroup and plan out how to defeat our enemies once and for all. We don't know what the future holds, but we can still do our best to make sure there is a future. Hey everyone, Micron Productions here. Thank you so much for watching. So this is the last episode with only a movie left to go. This Ninjago season has been taking a very long time to work on. I started it about two years ago, which is crazy to think about. Then again, there's an anime known as Attack on Titan doing the same thing, so at least I'm not the only one. I really appreciate you supporting the series, even with a few delays here and there. The reason why I started my final season is because I was losing interest in doing multiple Ninjago seasons, and it was taking a lot of my time, especially as I became older and got into college. So I'm pretty much done with the episode format to focus on other projects and stuff developing in my personal life. I am looking forward to ending my Ninjago series with a movie, which will take more than a few months, but it will be worth it.
I'll still be doing stop motion videos, especially a few occasional Ninjago videos. Anyway, that's about it. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, and I'll see you around.